Tay Savage, whose real name is Dwayne Timberlake, was born on July 11th, 1991. Tay Savage is a gangster turned rapper from Chicago, Illinois. He is affiliated with the So Icy Gang, or Welsh Word Gang, a gang who has both gangster and black disciples located in the Bronzeville neighborhood in Chicago. Tay Savage jumped off the porch at a very young age, around 14 to 15 years old. And then at what age do you jump off the porch? Like what, 13, 14? Probably like, probably like 14. Not only is he famously known all throughout Chicago. <laughs> Tay out, he doing his one, two, all the car crackers with him. He sliding folks out of three, four pipes by himself. He out here just, he, he. But now, the world is starting to get familiar with the history of Tay Savage. He started rapping after being released from prison in March of 2022, after being locked up for eight years for two murders and a robbery. But check this out. He did those eight years because he was only found guilty for the robbery. Tay Savage beat two murder cases back to back. Today, we talk about the Get Back King, Tay Savage. Now before I start the video, I want to introduce some key people. First we have Tay Savage, as you all know by now. Then we have Anthony Welch. Anthony Ray Welch was a very good friend of Tay Savage. They grew up together and were both members of the Icy Bird Gang. Icy Bird Gang consisted of both GDs and BDs. Anthony Welch was unfortunately killed during the shootout with rival gang 757 a gang consisting of three gangster disciplehoods who came together to form an alliance. On May 16, 2010, Welch was lurking near East 40th Street and South King Drive in the Southside Bronzeville neighborhood. He was out looking for revenge because two days before his own death, Tay Savage got shot himself in the stomach and in the arm. Yeah, I got shot twice the last time. I got shot in my stomach and my arm. Allegedly by the members of the app, a member of the 757. They killed Welch. Welch get killed two days later. So now, or a couple days later, right after the shit with, 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 with Tay. The story goes that when Welch caught up with the ops, then he unluckily ran out. Once this happened, the white four-door vehicle they were in chased Welch down and the passenger got out and shot him once in the chest. Another male victim who was not identified also got shot in the leg. It's sad to say that Welch lived a very short life, being killed at the age of 19. His people were so hurt by his passing, they dropped their original name and started calling themselves Welch World to honor their fallen friend. Welch World is represented with the famously known West Side hand sign and the Washington Nationals hat you see Tay wear. While Tay Savage sat in the hospital fighting for his life, his best friend was killed in the front lines and he knew nothing about it. You were still in the hospital when they told you? Yeah, yeah. I was in the hospital in uh, Critical. Here's a couple of photos of Tay Savage's people discussing how they have to lie to him about his best friend, Welch, being dead. He was in critical condition at the time, so his friends and family didn't tell him till days after. They waited, they waited till I got a little better and they, they told me. Once news broke out about Welch's death, the streets were talking, and two names that were blamed for his killing was a duo by the name of Sess and Neath. Two members who were affiliated with 757, the gang of GDs that I mentioned earlier. This was also found out in a police report at a later time when Tay Savage was brought into custody for a carjacking. In the report it says, Timberlake stated that one of the theories is that Princess, aka Sess, was involved in the killing of Anthony Welch, a friend of Timberlake. Timberlake added that Princess was with Christopher Daniels, aka Neat, when Daniels killed Welch, but he was not certain that that was a fact. Nine months after Welch's death, Tay Savage would later catch up with Sess. The driver who was allegedly involved in Welch's death on February 5th, 2011. Tay aka Dwayne Timberlake was right around one night when they spotted Sess in her vehicle and began following her. Sess was in a rented Chevy Impala and was out with her friends that night partying. 
In the police report, it states that Sess was on her way to East 75th Street along with her sister and her friends and followed behind in another car. After arriving to the destination, Sess parked her car across a nursing home and was the first person to step out the vehicle heading towards the party because she had to use the washroom. That's when the 5557 black male was seen exiting his blue truck headed towards Sess wearing a brown hoodie. The man called out her name as he carried a gun. The man shot Sess twice, making Sess fall over on her back, then proceeded to stand over her and told her, I told you, bitch, as he fired multiple shots into her body. Afterwards, the man returned to his truck, turned up the music, and began waving the gun in the air. Sess's friends and sister were in shock and ran back to their car to drive off. The offender then fired one shot at both vehicles as they fled. The victims drove for two blocks before returning to the scene to help Sess. Sess was lying on the ground in the middle of the street, bleeding and screaming. Authorities were called in. Sess was transported to Northern Western Memorial Hospital around 2 to 3 a.m., where she was pronounced dead three hours later. All victims were taken in for questioning, and one of the victims said that she believed the shooter to be Badass Tay, aka Tay Savage. Welch was killed on May 16th of 2010, and Sess was killed on February 5th of 2011. It only took nine months for Tay to get his get back. One half of the duo that was allegedly involved in Welch's death was dead. The only one alive was Neef, but not for long. Two months after Sess's death, Neef, whose real name is Christopher Daniels, would unfortunately be killed at the traffic light around 7 p.m. in the 7400 block of South Vincennes Avenue. According to police, Neef was in the car behind Tay Savage before Tay allegedly got out from the vehicle and began firing at Daniels. Daniels put his car in the reverse in hope of getting away but Tay allegedly kept firing at Daniels. Daniels would continue reversing his car, but crashed into another vehicle, leaving him trapped. Tay continued to fire shots and hit Daniels several times on the 6200 block of South Perry. Tay Savage would be accused of murdering both Sess and Neef, and his motive was to get back for Welch. Tay Savage mentioned in the interview that he changed after his friend Welch got killed. And you also said when Welch died, that's when you turned up all the way. <clears throat> yup. Yeah, that's when I really turned up like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It turned him deeper into the streets. Surprisingly enough, the reason for his eight years of incarceration was not for the murders. Tay was booked for a carjacking in July of 2013. According to police, Timberlake and another man robbed two men in Bronzeville neighborhood. The two men who were robbed were sitting beside their 1985 Chevy Monte Carlo in the 609 block of East Brown Avenue. When Tay, along with his friend, robbed them off their pockets and fled with the Monte Carlo. Both murders were still under investigation at this time, so no one was charged for neither murder. Tay was taken into custody but only being charged for the robbery. But while sitting in Cook County Jail, the state decided to charge him with two first degree murder charges. Well, they locked me up for the robbery. Now, while I'm locked up for the robbery, now they come put a murder on me. One for Cess and one for Neef. So in total, he was fighting three cases at one point. Tay decided it was smarter to cop out on the robbery. You know what I'm saying? So they locked on the, on the robbery. So I cop out to that. So I can hurry up and get that out the way because I don't want to, you know, stall three, four. So he was found guilty and sentenced to 20 years with a chance of parole. He demanded speedy trials on both murder charges and was able to beat the odds. In mid-late 2014, Tay was found not guilty for the two murders. Tay was able to get off earlier than expected for good behavior. He only served eight and a half years in total. On March 17, 2022, Tay Savage was finally released on parole. He went in right before the Chicago buzz. So to think that the name Tay Savage was already known before the rap is crazy. 
I mean, his name is Tay Savage, and I don't think he just got the name out the blue. People keep saying he might be the next King Von, but I don't know. Tay is his own person, but one thing I do know is that his name is starting to buzz and it's not for no reason. Be on the lookout for his music because I don't think he plans on stopping now that he's free. That'll be it for the video, y'all. Appreciate y'all for locking in with me. This is Rap on Lock.